So, hey y'all, it's your girl Ebony, and I'm back with another video. Ugh, it feels good to be back, y'all. How are you guys? It's been so long. How you doing? How your mama doing? It is 2020, and there is so much going on, and I am back on the scene, and I, I'm just, I don't know. I just want to, for all of you that have stuck around as I've been like making a video and then saying I'm going to make a video and then trying to make a video, like I just want to say thank you because I have been one inconsistent sister. <laughs> I've been so inconsistent. Um, so yeah, we're just going to talk about uh, just run through what's what's happening in this crazy world, what's happening with the hair, what's happening with the channel, all the all the things. So, um, just, you know, 2020 has been crazy. I know it's been crazy for everybody. And, um, for me, just a quick rundown, like the reason that I've been so, so, so inconsistent with videos and so inconsistent with all of the stuff that I love to do has just been work. I have been working like crazy. I have been allowing my job to be all consuming. Um, I have just... I have just neglected every single thing that I am so passionate about and the things that I absolutely love, like beauty and makeup and skincare and hair care and fashion and all this stuff. Like I've just literally been completely ignoring it and going absolutely insane. So this year I feel like, and I'm, I feel like 2020, like it's been crazy. But I also, I think it's forcing everybody into a few decisions. It's forcing everybody to make a decision. And now I actually got laid off as a result of um, COVID and um, the off our office moving and all this craziness that's, that's occurring. So I am no longer a part of the corporate world. I am no longer um, involved in it. And that is crazy. Like y'all don't know. It's been a very, it's been a minute. So with all the craziness of 2020 I feel like everything that we've used to distract ourselves we've actually had to make a decision to either hold on to even more tightly or to let it go and to go in a direction that we actually want to go and it presents me with this crossroads I can either go deeper into the corporate world I can either you know continue to pursue that avenue I can continue to have my ladder up against that wall or I can go and start to do the stuff that I love. Now is a perfect time to actually just kind of go, okay, let's reevaluate. If I'm going to spend that much time doing something, I need it to be the stuff that I'm so very passionate about. So 2020 and all this craziness that's going on this year, like I just know that first of all, I know that God is still on the throne. So let's, let's just, uh, let's just talk about that. God is still on the throne. And right now I think we're all being forced to make those decisions, which direction we want to go and how we want to move forward. I do not want to go back to where I was before. I don't want things to go back to normal and all the stuff that, you know, everybody's talking about. And I feel like a lot of people are miserable and they don't want to go back to their jobs and the things that they've been doing. They have hated them, um, but they're just looking for some sort of comfort. And so they're trying to find those things. So in the meantime, a sister is heading in the opposite direction. I'm looking forward to this opportunity because I can spend more time with you guys. Um, I can talk with y'all more. I can just like, I don't know. I'm just so excited to, to move into something that I absolutely want to do. So that's the very first life update as far as my job, my J-O-B, and I'm very excited about it. It's scary. <laughs> like, let's not pretend that this is all, you know, kitty whiskers and rainbows and stuff, because it's not, but it's an amazing opportunity. And I feel like the Lord is definitely presenting me with the opportunity to be able to move forward with the things that he's placed in my heart and the gifts and talents that he's given me. So that, that is what we're moving forward with. Okay. Okay. So let's talk about the elephant in the room. Let's talk about this hair. <laughs> this is my hair that is purchased. Uh, this is the, these are clip-in extensions from Hair R Us. I will put the link down below. These are 20 inch Indian wavy clip-ins. These are 
bomb. Like the hair quality is ridiculous. They're absolutely gorgeous. Like, I mean, it's, they're amazing. Okay, so not all my hair. My hair goes to, this is my hair. So that's about the length of, that's about the length of my hair. Okay, with that being said, y'all know that we have been on a journey together since 2011. If y'all have been, if y'all have been subscribed to my channel since 2011, you know I started off relaxed. I tried to transition for a few months, couldn't do it, relaxed again. That's just a big chopped a few years ago ended up like trying to go through the whole natural hair journey, like trying to find products, everything. So that's the last like set of videos that y'all saw. After that, I ended up like trying to figure out my hair. My hair was breaking off. I was getting braids. I couldn't wash my scalp right. I tried to get a weave. I don't know how you can wash your scalp with a weave in. Like I need to be able to access, like I want it to be clean, like everything, okay? I tried wigs. Girls, I think it is so rude how y'all slay these wigs and like the expectation, the standard for wig slayage is so high. Like I just could never get there. I tried and tried and tried. I tried to glue here and do this and do all this stuff. I cannot do it. Um, so I ended up having just a lot of struggles with my natural hair. I've like trying to do twist outs, trying to like all the manipulation. I'm still getting breakage. I'm still, I was going to a stylist to see exactly what was going on. She's saying that my hot water was too hot when I'm showering. So, you know, I would, um, you know, turn down the temperature. I'm, you know, uh, deep conditioning. I'm not deep conditioning. I'm using protein treatments. I'm protein sensitive, like all this craziness, right? So I just got fed up. Straight up, March of 2019, I straight up relaxed my hair again. I know, I know, I know. So it was one of those things, you know, initially I was like, yes, this is when I could run my fingers through my hair. Like, yes, like I, like this is, yes. Like this is, this is what we're doing. But over time, as y'all know, this, I swear, the flattest, flat, flat hair ever is relaxed hair. And I don't mean that like, like if you like your hair to be just like straight up flat, I couldn't color it, I couldn't do anything with it. It's just flat hair. I, and it looks crazy because I have a round face. So all of this was just like flat hair all up on the sides of my face. <laughs> Y'all, no. But I kept relaxing for about almost a year. And then um, February of this last year was the last time I relaxed. So little Miss Rona came in in March and um, I ended up, I haven't, I haven't relaxed since February. So, and of course our hair salons here, our hair salons here in LA have been closed. They've recently um, reopened for a second time. But, um, you know, as far as relaxers and everything were concerned, I was like, okay, quarantine is a perfect time to transition back to natural hair. <laughs> So that is kind of what's been happening here. So I am completely natural, like from here to probably about here. And then the ends of my hair are still relaxed. So it's been what, about eight months that I've actually been transitioning back to natural. However, however, yes, I have been flat ironing. So I am currently in this weird in between. Okay. I've made zero decisions. I'm not relaxing my hair again because the just the flattest, most boring hair I could find was found in a relaxer. So we won't be doing that, but I have found a way to straighten my own hair without a relaxer with just a flat iron and uh, so me straightening my natural hair as you guys know it will end up if i continue in that direction it will end up in a heat trained heat damaged situation straight natural kind of kind of direction that it could possibly go in i honestly i've been pulling it up in bonds i've been doing all sorts of stuff but again my hair does not like to be manipulated a lot my scalp definitely needs me to get in there and clean it so i don't know what my next steps are with my hair we're gonna figure it out and you guys are gonna come on the ride with me <laughs> whether you like it or not um but it's definitely one of those things where i am excited 
to find out what in the world is gonna happen with my hair next. Okay, and then last but not least, um, with everything that's been going on over the last several months, I knew that my career um, in the corporate world was coming to an end. And I decided to start to pursue the things that I really enjoy. So I opened up a brand new um, women's clothing boutique called Rock Sugar Style. Um, and that it's online only. I am so very excited about it, you guys. It is definitely one of those things where I have a hard time finding clothes. I want it to be quality, I want it to be the right color, I want it to feel right, I want it to look right, I want it to be cut right, I don't want any crazy, like, ridiculous, like, like you know, like, Midwest floral pa patterns. I'm from the Midwest, so I can say that. Um, I don't want anything crazy, right? Like, I just, I love amazing clothes, and love clothes that fit well and are well made. So it just made sense to open my own online boutique. And if you go to rocksugarstyle.com, you will see um, you'll see that um, that boutique. I've got there's jewelry on there. There's um, the new fall edit that has been released. Um, so we've got new arrivals that are actually coming in as well for fall. And I am so excited about it, you guys. It's just one of those things where I I love makeup and hair and like you know hair care and fashion and beauty and skincare and all of these like crazy girly things I never really let myself indulge in them before but now I have the opportunity to be able to do all of that and I opened up that online boutique so that um, I could share that with you guys and so that you would know like there are not going to be any itchy sweaters on on, on that online store. Like you're not gonna find one single itchy sweater. Um, I've got jeans on there that actually fit your hips and your waist for those of us that have, you know, maybe a bubble butt and you've got a smaller waist and you always find jeans that don't fit both. I've actually, like I've found jeans that actually fit but that's what I've been up to and you'll definitely see more videos about the boutique that'll that'll be coming up um, especially with the new arrivals for fall and then going into holidays as well um, but most importantly I just want to say thank you guys thanks for sticking with me um, this journey has literally just begun like it's crazy to think of it that way but it really has so I am so very excited um, you guys can find me on Instagram at Ebony Perry and um, you can also find me um, at rock sugar style on instagram so you'll you'll get to if you follow me there you'll get to see a lot more of the try on videos and um you know just different things and, and such that i'm up to as far as the boutique is concerned and you'll be the first to know about new arrivals you can go ahead over to rocksugarstyle.com and get on the vip list so that um so that you'll be the first to know when stuff is released so anyway thank you guys so much thanks for being ride or die through all of this craziness you will definitely be in, seeing some more videos and definitely comment below what videos you want to see, what questions you have. Um, if you want to see more about what I'm doing as far as transitioning my hair and how I'm detangling um, and all that fun stuff, then please shoot me a comment down below. I'd be very happy to answer any questions along the way. Uh, but I'm so excited. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for hanging with me. Um, if you're a new subscriber, please subscribe down below so that we can, you know, hang out and you can see how this crazy journey unfolds. So anyway, thanks so much, you guys. I will definitely see you in the next video. Take care.